disappointed, Ebony. You show so little faith. Don't you remember what I told you when we became one? I told you we'd always be together. That one day we would see my prophecies fulfilled. That time has arrived. Power and chaos, Ebony. Remember? No. Power and chaos! No! about you, but I never really suited that retro look. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Are you okay? What are you, cold? No, I'm fine. Just keep talking. I mean, you've got such a beautiful thing going on here. Ebony, it's not like that. <sighs> oh my god, what's going on? Are we under attack? I knew it was too good to last. This is the beginning. Ebony, what? The beginning of what? <laughs> Ebony, what's the matter? Trudy, get out of here. Just take your kid and get out of here while you still can. It's just a power cut, okay? We'll be fine with candlelight. Judy. Zoot's back. What? He's back. He's right behind you. Ebony, you're scaring me. I don't see anything. Oh, my poor thing. You must be exhausted. I don't know, Trudy. Sometimes I wonder if it's all worth it, you know? I mean, we had some pretty good times with the Ecos. Maybe Pride's been right all along. Maybe we should just pick up the kids and get out of here, you know? What is it? Did you miss me? Did you see a ghost? No, not me. Ebony. And I shouldn't be telling you, but Amber, she was so convinced. No, she's putting you on. No, she's not. She said that Zoot was right there in the room with us. Ugh. I could almost feel him there too, you know? Zoot's not coming back. Believe me. She told me. What? Ebony. She told me about Zoot. Judy! They care about you. I don't know why, since you hate them so much, but they do. And so do I. She had no right. Besides, I've got a beat. I want to help. You can't. Not with this. Why not? We've all been through a bad time. This is different. Why? This isn't in my head. This is real. This is really happening. Jake, I'm so frightened. I don't know what's happening to me. Just please don't leave me. Don't leave me. Did you miss me? It was just a dream. You were shouting. It was that Zoot. It was so real. He was coming to get us. He was coming to get us all. And you, you think I'm going crazy. I didn't say that. Well, why not? Everybody else does. Why can't they see Java? It was meant to be. And they can't destroy Zoot. Zoot is a god. He's in this room with us.
Why is it only me? It's not only you, Ebony. I can see him too. School. Our new HQ. I don't get it. Needs a little TLC. I still don't get it. I mean, it's a big place to defend. Why here? Because this is where it begins. This is where it all began. Where I first saw him. Who? Saw who? Power Cow! Zoot. This is where I first saw him. This was his desk. Have you seen him again? Yes. He was here. Zoot's dead. Did he say anything? Yes. Oh, yes. Hey, cut this out, you two. This is scary. What did he say? He asked me to be his bride. What? Java, what's going on? And he wants Siva to be my bridesmaid. Do you, Ebony, take Zoot to be your husband and companion in power and chaos? Till death do you part? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the groom. It's all making sense now. Ebony's stirring up all the Zoot stuff, making us think she's crazy. It could really get out of control now. Well, we've got the strike first. How? We got the power back. We've still got CityNet. We could do a broadcast. I suppose the whole thing for the con trick it is. Great. It might work. Hello. I guess you all know me? Don't worry, this won't take long. What I have to say is simple. Simple, but very, very important. Despite all the rumors that you've been hearing, the posters, the chanting mobs, Zoot is dead. I saw him die. I was at his funeral. What's happening? Shall I go on? What now? I'm back. with that. 
Anyone who doesn't follow Zoot deserves to be a slave. We were locos once. Well, I was. You're Siva, aren't you? What did I tell you? I told you to keep your mouth shut. I'll do the talking. What do you want us to do? Siva, I've got something very special in mind for these two. We're turning the city zoo into a prison camp for traitors and slaves to the cause. I want you to be my head jailer. Any objections? No. I wasn't talking to you, boy. I was talking to the chick. You and your loser pals will be on the other side of the bars. Take them away. What? Hey. Hey. Wow. Girl power and chaos. What happened? He was scouting the area. He ran into someone or something. What is it? What did you see? Zoot. But Zoot's dead, right? Right. Let's get him back to the mall. Casey's all done with mirrors. And uh, laser beams, of course. Of course. Yeah, okay, but the crucial thing is, is you need three projectors pointing from, you know, different angles, so that when the laser beams interact, you get your, your 3D image. Claire Isabel. What are you talking about, Jack? Holograms. Look, I'm, you know, I'm just trying to work out a way that Zoot could appear all over the city, spook everyone, and then, then vanish. Someone get hurt? Not exactly. He claims he saw Zoot. He's pretty shaken up. You trust him? Yeah. He says the thing, whatever it was, appeared in some sort of halo and then vanished. Hey, th that's what I was saying. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. There's obviously just some kind of mass hysteria going on here. Lex, come and see this. Think of a tripod with a holographic projector mounted on top. Remember what Jack said. It takes three projectors to make one hologram. A three-dimensional image, right? Right. Jay, you, you guys there? Hey, Lex, man, don't, don't wind me up, OK? Hello, Jack. <laughs> this is real enough for you. Jack! Jack, it's me, Jay. What happened? <laughs> he put his hand around my throat, okay? I felt it, okay? You understand? It was so he's alive! You don't understand, okay? None of you do. Okay, he grabbed me by the throat and he half strangled me, okay? Do you think any ghost or hologram can do that? You're just freaking me out, man. It was a trick. That's all it was, a trick. It was dark and you scared yourself. That's all. Tell them, Jay. Tell them what we found. I don't know. There were tape marks. It, it could have been for a holographic projector. Okay, I know what I saw, okay? It was Zoot. Stop it, okay? Stop it, all of you! <sighs> Look, I'm telling you, okay, he... It was him. No, Jack! Look, I do not know what happened to you or what you saw, but it was not Zoot! He is gone! He is history, okay? And that is the end of it! Trudy. Hello? Trudy. Who is it? Trudy. I just made a fool of myself, as usual. No one could blame you with all the weird things going on out there. It was a cruel trick. They weren't to know. About you and Zoot? I heard you had a thing together once. <laughs> you heard what he called you, Brady? A thing. Oh, I didn't realize. Brady Zoot's daughter.
all come out? Who? Spirits? Vampires? Ghosts? Okay. Just say vampire. What? We under attack? Looks like the postman's called. So does Rhythm. Death to his killer. Guess that's you, Lex. What's happened? Somebody left a calling card for Lex. We should take this seriously, Lex. And do what? It's just a bunch of crazy Zootists. Yeah, and for what I've seen, they're crazy enough to carry out their threat. <laughs> I didn't imagine it. That's not possible. Well, I would agree, but if, if you look closely, he's casting a shadow. It's a real person. The question is, is it Zoot? Okay, this one is a detailed blob of his hand. Now, I had to fill around a bit, but um, you tell me what that is. A tattoo? What does it say? Daryl. That's exactly what it is. But tell me, why would Zoot have a stupid name like that tattooed on his hand? What are you saying? Well, I'm not certain yet, but... Yeah. Jay, could you take me to those marks that you and Lex found in the building? What do you think? Uh, yeah, well, they are, they're definitely holograms. Yeah, but who? Who's using them? Wait. Hang on, okay, I'm just gonna get you saying else out. Jay! Take a look. What is it? Look, it's here. Look, that has to be Zeus. I mean, it's got the, the, the beads and everything. See, I told you he was real. I don't understand. I thought you just said he was a hologram. Well, yeah, okay. I think he's actually both. I think someone is playing Zoot's double very, yeah, very convincingly. I mean, I suspect this is a fake. I mean, it certainly, certainly feels synthetic. So, so, this is how they've been doing it, Jay. This is how they've fooled the entire city, including me. Okay, look, they've been doing it two ways. They've had a hologram and a double playing the man himself. And here is the evidence. Let him in. Those kids weren't part of your brief, Daryl. They were stooping around, so I scared the pants off them. Man, try wearing these all day. Come on, Mega, it was an opportunity. A photo opportunity, as it turned out. Does it look familiar? It's found at the factory, at the place where you encountered our young Einstein. They must have uh, dropped in the scuffle. Yes, it certainly looks that way, doesn't it, Daryl? Yet another mistake. I do not have time for fools. From now on, you do only what I say. Do you understand? I said, do you understand? Sure. You're the boss, right? Right. You're finished here. Your history. Mess with us again and you're dead. That's so? Says who? Says Zoot. This is his city now. And filth like you have no place in it. Strong words, Ebony. I take it you're talking about this guy? This was taken yesterday. Someone is impersonating. Is that the best you can do? It's obviously a fake, and a pretty pathetic one at that. The only one doing the faking is you. They're taking you for a ride. They're behind the holograms and- Don't listen to him. He's a liar, a dirty liar and a cheat. Finish them. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Strong. Don't feel so brave without Zoot here to protect you? Do it! One, two, 
right about that. He's waiting for that big event, I guess. Zoot never waits. Zoot never makes plans. He acts immediately, always. Well, maybe he's changed. How can Zoot change? Zoot is power and chaos. He never changes. Like, it's one thing for Zoot to run her life for her, but it's another when she starts disagreeing with him. She's starting to go off the wall big time. She'll be fine, don't worry about her. But if she gets any worse, no one's gonna take her seriously. These kids think of her as their leader. We'll cross that bridge if we get to it. Ebony. The time is near. When the shadow comes at noon, gather to greet me. Getting the message? Loud and clear. The human brain. Just another piece of hardware, huh? If you know how to program it. Zoot came to me again last night. He's returning. He'll be resurrected as the god he is. We have to prepare. How? Organize the troops. We need them ready for the shadow at noon. The shadow at noon? You heard me. Look around. The whole city's going crazy for Zoot. That's me. No, Daryl, you're pretending to be Zoot. What do they care? I'm the only Zoot they're gonna know. They'll follow me. So what you're saying is you want a bigger role, a bigger say. You better believe I do. You got nothing to worry about. Pretty soon you're gonna have the biggest say of your life. You're going to be a star. Every passing minute of every day draws us closer to Zoot. Come, come, join us. Join us in power and in chaos. Zoot is our salvation. Quiet. They don't want him as Zoot when he comes back. But Zoot's dead. Zoot's dead, you stupid people. Tomorrow, that's when he says he's coming. Shadow at noon, what is that? When is the, the shadow at noon? Uh, well, the shadows are shortest at noon. I remember reading when Jesus died, the whole earth was in shadow. Earth. Shadow, Sammy, you've got it. I have? Yeah, I'm with you. Tomorrow there's going to be a total solar eclipse. The, 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 you know, the shadow at noon. Oh, well, the oldest trick in the book. Uh, yes, but very effective, because not only will Zoot look like he's appearing, but it'll look like he's switching the sun off while he does it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Can we talk? I mean, like in private? Leave us. Can we sit down somewhere? It's about Zoot. Zoot isn't real. He's not coming back. 
He's dead. Siva, try to understand. Zoot is coming back to the city today. No, they're going to use a poor kid dressed up as Zoot. They've been using you, screwing up your mind. Have you finished? I have to prepare myself. It's nearly time. Ebony, listen to me. I can't bear to see you like this. At noon today, when Zoot comes to reclaim his city, I will be by his side, a goddess. Daryl, are, are you all right in there? I'm fine, fine. Ugh. Hey, jeez, oh, you look terrible. No, I'm no, I'm just nervous about today. I don't think I can go through with it. With what? <laughs> I don't think I can. You'll be fine, Daryl. You'll be wonderful. This is huge. Think of what this means for you. The fame, the rewards, the girls. Yeah, the girls. Why do you think I chose you for this? Because I know you will be magnificent. You're right. Now go and get ready for the biggest role of your life. Yeah! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 